Hey everyone, it's Bob the Antenacle. I, I want to thank the Canadian Stunt Buffin for giving me the assignment. This here is Darth Maul, my cat. Imagine that. I got a cat too, so, and he, he does have more than nine lives. He's got 20. He's been dying of the lymphoma since uh, 2016, but it's not about him. So he's just hanging out in on the desert island by my palm tree. So the assignment, Larry, was 50 albums to take to this desert island. It's just me and, and Darth Maul. And uh, what, are, what are the, oh, you can take two, two double albums and only two albums by each artist if you choose. So here they go. I'm going to try and be quick. And the ones that I had the same, well, we'll talk about that. I did have 27 of the same exact albums that he had. Well, let me mention them because Larry asked. I, I had both of the Led Zeppelin, Yes, The Beatles, Velvet Underground, Black Sabbath, The Who, Paul McCartney, Frank Zappa, Motorhead, Blue Oyster Cult, Lou Reed. Now, the Kinks, I kind of... I got like two double albums. They're kind of hard to find. But I, I think I'm going to get more of those. Creedence Clearwater Revival. And the other one I'm cheating for Canned Heat. I have Hooker and Heat. I, I think you might have mentioned that. But that, that one, well, that's a damn good album. Stephen Wilson, Van Morrison, The Talking Heads. Neil Young and The Doors. Those are the ones that I did have the same. But out of all those, I only had two on my Desert Island list. So I will start. You know, gotta have Led Zeppelin. Song remains the same. I mean, No Quarter and Days Confused, those live versions, hands down. I like the live version of Stairway to Heaven better myself. Led Zeppelin 3, I chose that. I mean, yeah. That's all I could say, yeah. Genesis, The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway. It's, uh, it's a double album. You get kind of the best of Genesis of, of the old, you know, it's, they get a lot of cool stuff on that. And I know, Larry, you're getting into it. I've been watching. And then I cheat but it, this was not your rule. I didn't see it in there. Genesis greatest hits. Maybe it was best of. I don't know because I got all the Genesis now. But uh, that that has all you know the pop hits with Phil Collins and th those are fun. I I'm a fan of both. Grateful Dead Europe '72. I mean it was kind of an easy one for a double album. <laughs> and uh, maybe that maybe there's better. But that's a, it's a double album. And then Blues for Allah, single album, studio. It's almost as good as Two from the Vault, or One, for, one from the Vault. But, you know, I, I love that studio. Smashing Pumpkins, Melancholy, and the Infinite Sadness. I, this guy, he's, he's going to annoy me. Or distract me. He's going to distract me. Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness. Great double album artwork. Smashing Pumpkin's a true original. And then the, the last double album. I know it's not a classic album. But King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. Omnium Gatherum. I, I go on about this. It's got everything they do. I don't know what they're going to do next. But it, it it's just a summation of... Of King Gizzard. It's kind of their physical graffiti, in, in my opinion. And then the other King Gizzard, Polygon Wanna Land. That was always my favorite. It's it's probably their most progressive, but it's, it's a must hear. I always tell everyone, listen to that one. But then again, they got others. But this is about the 50 albums. Now we're down to the singles. Almond Brothers, first set. And I'll say second set also. So th those count as two. First set, I mean, you got Warren Haynes, 
blue sky, get on with your life. Nobody knows what a jam and dreams. And then second set, no one left to run with. I mean, if you're on a desert island, who are you going to run with? You're by yourself. Unless you get a, me, I'd have my cat. Soul Shine, you got an acoustic version of Memory of Elizabeth Reed. Fantastic. So this one I had the same as Larry. It was Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath. That's absolute Sabbath of their best. It just is. And then Sabotage. Am I going insane? I mean, you, you got to have that. Plus Megalomania. I mean, there's a lot of cool. That's a good album. If I had to take it to a desert island. Fish. Slip, stitch, and ha pa ugh, slip, stitch, and pass. There's a tongue twister for you. It's the single live album by Fish in the 97, the cow funk era. You got, I mean, they, they do a Talking Head Cities cover. They do uh, ZZ Top. You got some Doors mixed in. I think The End and, and uh, even that Pink Floyd, uh, Careful with that Axe Eugene mixed into one of the jams. But you experience live fish. I always recommend that that album, you know, for an entry of live fish. Oh, God. And then the other one of fish, single album, studio. Man, Desert Island. I, since I had that, I had to go with Story of the Ghost. Again, it was that cow funk era. And they also, they had, there's some stuff in there. It, it kind of reminds me of the Beach Boys. You'd have to listen, but it's the vocal harmonies. Go figure. It, that's just uh, my opinion. Pink Floyd. <clears throat> now, interestingly, I have no Beatles, but the, there's like substitutions. So Piper of the Gates of Dawn filmed at the same, or not filmed, recorded at the same time at Abbey Road as, as uh, Sergeant Pepper, if I can recall. They influenced Star Sergeant Pepper. Am I right? Am I wrong? Make a comment. But Sid Barrett, I mean, I don't know. Got to do that. And then the tribute to Sid Barrett, Wish You Were Here. A lot of times I like that myself better than Dark Side of the Moon. But it's just a perfect album. And especially that second half at the end of Shine On You Crazy Diamond. I, there's that funk, that, that keyboard stuff that I really like. Primus, Frizzle Fry. It's just got all the classic songs. Not all of them, but I got I got to pick something. And then Pork Soda, Primus Pork Soda. Got to love me some Pork Soda. Not only they got my my name is Mud, but they got every song on there. I love. It. They got little interludes, little uh, drums and, and xylophone stuff going on, and Hamburger Train. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's a, the, those are the picks. That, this is this is a hard thing, there, Larry. Hard thing. And I, I keep going on about funk. So the Red Hot Chili Peppers. If I had a pick, picking one, I, want, I I had to pick two. But Blood Sugar Sex Magic. I mean, that is the pinnacle. Even though I'm, I'm a freaky, styly fan, because it doesn't get any funkier than that. But. Blood Sugar Sex Magic, I mean, John Frusciani, those guitar solos, all the songs, it's it's the best of them all. And then the other one is uh, One Hot Minute, the one that everyone seems to diss, but it's it's got Dave Navarro, so it's you got the psychedelia, Dave Navarro, Jane's Addiction thing that he does, mixed with the funk, so I, I really love that one. It's It's one of my favorites. But though it, it, it is a little bit different. Rush, Permanent Waves. They're, they're another one. You know, I, I wish I could have more, but that's all I can have. Permanent Waves is, you know, the end of the 70s Rush, which with the hints of it. And then, of course, uh, Moving Pictures, supposed to be their best album. It is pretty good. And it still has some of the progressive elements. I mean... <sighs> oh, Tom Petty. Gots to have me some Tom Petty, Wildflowers. That's almost the greatest hits in itself. I mean, if you don't have Wildflowers, you must get Wildflowers. And now they got all these box sets and stuff of it. 
And then the other one, Echo. I mean, the later Tom Petty, I just love me some later Tom Petty. Desert, I don't know, Room at the Top. It's, it's, there's a lot of sad stuff on there, but it's, it's great. And then I, ooh, I wanted to cheat so bad because you got Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers and Tom Petty solo. Wildflower is actually a solo, so I, I could have grabbed two more Tom Petty's, but I'm on a desert island, man. I mean, I, I really should only pick one from every album because I had to leave so much out. Ween. Now, I wouldn't have thought I would pick Ween for my desert island. I mean, am I never coming back? Am I going to die? These are let, but Ween. Ween, is, they are so cool. They're so different. They kind of cover all the things. So, Ween, the mollusk, I mean, you, you got that ocean thing, ocean man, but Buckingham Green, oh man, all the ocean thing. Must hear, that. I think that's their, their most psychedelic album. And then uh, White Pepper, there you go. Think of the name, White Pepper. Not, I mean, there's some Beatles-like stuff, but it's Ween at their poppy best. And, I, and then I had to leave out Quebec. Oh, yeah. Listen to some Ween, people. ACDC? Gotta have some ACDC. And if I had to pick only one ACDC, I mean, aren't all their albums the same? Right? So, but I picked Dirty Deeds, Done Dirt Cheap. I mean, yeah. Squealer, Dirty Deeds. What a great, great album. Descendants. There's my punk. It's pop punk. I listen to that all the time as a kid. God. But uh, we had a lot of fun with that. I think those versions are better. It's, it's almost the greatest hits. And they're a more talented band. And they, they influenced, uh, who is it, Green Day, Blink-182. Yeah, Descendants Liveage. It a, it's just, it, it's for me. It's for me. Uh, Faith No More. I mean, what a, another cool band. Angel Dust, RV, Love Me, that song. I don't know. Frank Zappa, yes. That is a hard one. Uh, Hot Rats. I mean, no matter what, every time I listen to that album, it's like, man, is this not the greatest album of all time? I mean, it, it's just, there's so much going on in there. Fugazi, here's an, that's another one. It's not punk. It's it's not alternative. I don't know what Fugazi is. They're almost math rock, but the, the, the do it yourself. They came from the punk, that DC thing. If you haven't heard Fugazi, but the, Repeater. Repeater from 1990, so good. Check it out. Jane's Addiction again. So... Yeah, Ritual de lo Habitual. I have mentioned that before. It's just one of their, it's one of the best albums ever. I love it. It's got violins in there, the, 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 the Zeppelin thing. So I, get, I could get more of Zeppelin, you know, that's again why I left out the Beatles or, I, you know, I, I could cheat with this stuff. Jimi Hendrix, are you experienced? I mean, <sighs> and he just didn't have that much, but that's the one. It's the one to choose. I don't know. Tough. Very tough. Jimmy Buffett. I mean, if I'm going on my island, got to have some Buffett. A1A. If you haven't heard A1A, it it does have some tropical themes, but it's it, it's more of a country. But, man, you know, if you, if you don't know it, I recommend it. John Mayall. I did a whole video on that, so need I speak anymore? King Crimson. Now, the first one I had, it was Discipline, and it, it sounds so much like Primus. But that, that it's a perfect King Crimson album. All their albums are pretty darn perfect for what they are. But, man, I only had to choose one. That's the one. Discipline. Let's see. Oh. Mazzy Star, Hope Sandoval. I mean, I just fall in love with that girl. They almost have a Doors thing type of going on with the, the, the way their music is, like the end. A lot of their stuff sounds like the end, but that song Fade Into You, 
I mean, she melts my heart. So I'm all my by myself. I, I listen to her. Metallica, for some reason, I don't know why, I, I chose Kill Em All. So, you know, Larry, you picked Motorhead, I picked Kill Em All. I just love every song, gets you going. Every guitar solo, got to have some thrash. Porcupine Tree. Yeah. They got so many and they, they've evolved. But, uh, Deadwing. Is that my favorite one? I don't know. But to take on a Desert Island, I love that. The song Lazarus. Just such a beautiful song. I actually like the live version of that one better too. But that would have been, that would have been a double, so I'd be cheating. Porno for Pyros, kind of the continuation of Jane's Addiction. Seen that live, uh, well, something to see. But the song Mia, I don't know, it, it has, to me, kind of a tropical bass line or something. That, uh, I don't know, like jungle-like, I, I don't know. You'd have to hear it to know what I'm talking about. Queens of the Stone Age. Songs for the deaf. Songs for the deaf. I mean, have you heard this album? It's a classic. Robert Plant. I know I, I was rearranged. I almost got rid of him and, and uh, the Mighty Rearranger. If you don't know this one, so much like, yeah, I mean, that's the torch of Led Zeppelin right there. And, and he has evolved. But I, I think that's his best solo album, myself. And I almost, I got to take it with me on that desert island. Smashing Pumpkins, I, I got them twice. Gish, that's the one that started it all. I used to listen to that at the same time as Ritual, De La Habitual. To me, again, there was something Zeppelin-esque about it. I, I don't know, someone could argue, but, uh, and then... Billy Corgan, I, I, do I want to get stuck on a desert island with that guy? I seen him solo a couple years ago. I gotta say, he he was kind of an asshole. The guy was cheering for a song, and he wanted to kick him out. And every, everyone's shushing everyone. What are we at the opera? I mean, you're good, but I mean, you're up there with an acoustic guitar. He, he's not. <laughs> he ain't that good, but he is good. I digress. Sorry, Billy, I love you, but man, I almost walked out and you got me so mad. Stephen Wilson, the raven that used to sing. So there you go. Ties to the Beatles. Not, not that it sounds anything like the Beatles, but you got Alan Parsons. So there's the tie to Abbey Road. And I, I don't listen to that one enough, so I'm going to bring it with me. The other woman I have to have with me, Stevie Nicks, and I'm going to take, not Fleetwood Mac, which I would like to, but I'm going to take Stevie Nicks' Belladonna. It's a pretty good album, and plus it has Tom Petty on there and Don Henley, so there, bonus, bonus. You got you, you to gotta be smart when you're on this desert island, otherwise you will not survive. Talking heads, speaking in tongues, so yeah, I mean, that's where we're different than what Larry's choices are, but uh, that, it's funky. I, I like it. It's it's a funky album to get you dancing, like moon rocks and stuff. Oh, we're near the end here, and I wonder if it be under 20 minutes. I'm going too long. Uh, the Doors, L.A. Woman, I mean, Riders on the Storm, come on, Riders on the Storm. It doesn't get much better than that, or does it? The Changeling, Cars Hiss By My Window, Like the Waves Down on a Beach. The Who, there you go. There's the other one, we're the same. Who's next? And I got that uh, special edition. It's not a double album, but you got uh, Naked Eye, Into Water. Those were those two bonus songs. I got to cheat and bring those with me. Cause, and, and then you got the water. But, oh, Naked Eye, so good. And the last one on my list, Them Crooked Vultures, which is basically Queens of the Stone Age again, but you get the bonus of John Paul Jones. So there's another tie to Led Zeppelin that I could take with me. I mean, if, if uh, another one. If you have not heard this album, check it out. It's, it's so hard. 
John Paul Jones was such a such an addition to Led Zeppelin that people don't give him credit. But even if he's playing keyboards on this thing, I might listen to it after I shut this down. Anyway, I've gone over 20 minutes. I didn't want to go that long, but we're talking 50 albums here to a desert island. So this might be the last time you hear from me. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Thanks, Canadian Stud Muffin, for put, giving this assignment out. Give us more assignments, because you, I don't know what you, you've started here, but this is a little bit addicting. Thanks. Subscribe. And we got more music to talk about. Thanks, guys.